So number four, type of transaction. Spot transaction is referring to, you know that uh, uh, normally when you do business, your customer might be, your customer will be businesses like company. Your company, uh, your customer will be company who doing business. So your transaction will be B to B. Your customer may be from government, all right? Your customer may be from consumer, end user. So what is the e-invoice uh, criteria, whether you want to issue e-invoice or not? So we refer here, business to business. If your customer is doing business, you also doing business, you must e issue e-invoice to them. Uh. Uh, no other invoice, uh, only invoice. Uh. So if business to government here is when your customer is the government, when you do it, you want to uh, charge your, uh, you, you sell product to government or you perform service to government, you also require to issue invoice. Okay. So the third one, consumer. Consumer is a mean the end user, individual end user. That This consumer, they, they did not doing business. Okay. So it's depending on this consumer whether they are requiring invoice or consolidate uh, invoice or not. If let's say con consumer, they are request invoice, you need to issue invoice to them. If not, then maybe you need later you need to do consolidated invoice. Uh, consolidated, I mean, like, no. So if it's an individual consumer, why individual consumer require invoice? Okay. You know that your personal, personal, you're not doing business, huh? you might submit your income test, right? When you submit your income test, you will claim a test relief, like personal test relief. What is the personal test relief that you claim? Like lifestyle relief, you buy a computer, okay? You buy a reading material, you subscribe the internet, home internet, or gym membership, okay? And you buy a life insurance, you buy a medical insurance, all these is one of part of the personal relief that you are going to be claimed under your personal tax. So remember, I just now I say you must have an invoice for you to claim tax deduction. So even though you are individual consumer, if you submit your personal tax, remember whatever the for you if you want to claim personal tax relief, make sure you have a tax uh, you have an invoice. If you do not have an invoice. You unable to claim the personal tax relief. So understand, huh? Here, yeah, consumer. Yeah. So scenario, uh, this is a scenario here when the customer is a consumer, they might require e invoice or they might not require e invoice. If let's say your consumer buyer is required e, e invoice, then you need to get all the detail from your buyer, then issue e invoice, and then submit to income tax, get approval. Then after that, only you can give your customer the validate invoice. So if your customer is not required e invoice and your customer is a consumer, they're not required e invoice, you can still issue normal invoice, normal receipt, normal bill to your customer. Okay, so, but that doesn't mean that you're not required to issue e invoice. Huh? You still require issue e invoice. Huh? Because, uh, at the end of the month, at the end of the month, you need to consolidate all the receipt, all the normal invoice in a month. Submit to income tax, submit one consolidated invoice to give to let income tax know what is the monthly sales they collected. Okay. The normal invoice, the normal invoice that you issue to the customer. So this consolidated invoice, they have a time frame for you to do the submission. You must submit within seven days. After month end, within seven days okay submit to the income test to get a uh, validation all right so this is a, a b2c scenario so here i just uh, uh sharing some if let's say your customer not require invoice and customer require invoice so requiring invoice you get the information no e invoice you give them normal invoice so what happened if your customer after they buy from you, they say, I don't want e invoice. You issue no more invoice. But after this, your customer come back to you and say that, now I want e invoice. Can you issue e invoice to me? So income tax reference say that customer can always request e invoice from the supplier within the same transaction month. What's being same transaction month? So now, this is a, a customer come to your shop uh, to buy something. Okay. 
Then customer say, I don't want invoice. So you issue no more invoice. Then uh, maybe after one week, after two weeks, we think still in April, your customer return back and say they want invoice. So within the month, they can still can request from you. You still you can uh, you can still can issue invoice back to them. Uh. But let's say let's say today is 30th of April. Your customer walk in, say that they buy something, and after that they say that I don't want invoice. And they come back on first of May, next day, first of May, they say I want the invoice for the on the 30th April. So actually you can reject them uh, because come say within the month uh, so within the month being after month end uh, actually you can reject your customer because at the time you already need to stand by to submit the consolidated invoice to the uh, income tax All right so uh for this console letter I will talk more on uh, this consolidated invoice to you All right so uh, when the time you issue invoice to your customer is an individual, so you need to understand because in this invoice, you might require your indie customer to give you the income test number. TIN number is a custom income test number. Either TIN number for Malaysia individual, either income test number, IC number, or income test number, or I and IC number, both. Okay, either one. TIN number, income test number, or IC number, or both. If let's say your consumer customer is a non Malaysian individual, there is a maybe a for tourist, tourist, okay, they come. If let's say they require e invoice, you, you need to ask them what is their e thing income tax number or income tax number and passport number. So either only two or uh, two or for you to choose. Uh. So they, there is no other choice for you to just key in the passport number. Uh. So you might have a question. This non Malaysian individual, how are I going to know their income tax number? That is the question. So don't worry. Later, I will give you a guide. Uh, later, I will give you another guide. If let's say this is non Malaysian, what is the special thing number you can assign to them? All right. So this is an example of the uh, B2C transaction. So when, when the customer, when your business, company is doing B to C uh, business. So you need to uh, I choose either one. This is the method recommended by the income tester. Huh? You can choose either one using the portal mobile app to issue invoice to your customer or through the whole system or through the My Invoice mobile app uh, on live platform. So there's a four method for you uh, to make your customer convenient to issue invoice for them. So Let's say, let's say this is one of the example. You go to petrol station, buy the, uh, you pump in your petrol and you require e invoice because you want to claim back from the company. So of course you need the e invoice. So buyer may, may use the uh, petrol station app to key in every transition, then get them to get approval. So once very day, uh, they will send back the e invoice to you. So, so next time when you go to petrol station, pump petrol, you want to claim company, you must go to So, so this is another method. It's all uh, my invoice system. So when customer come to buy something from you, you can use my invoice system to issue invoice to them. Of course, uh, of course, you need to require many, many information from your customer side. So in order to issue invoice. So what is the information you require to get from your customer? I, I will talk later in the invoice format. So this is another method. Use the post system. Your customer buy from you, okay? Then you use the post system to generate invoice to your customer. Uh, so uh, of course, your, your post system might need to upgrade to able to issue invoice to your customer. So this, uh, the last, uh, next one is a mobile app. So mobile apps like that. I think uh, now when you go to F&B, you have want to order some food. Normally now, uh, f &B, you ask you to scan the QR code and then order by yourself, right? I think later on, they might be have a, this QR code might be great to the invoice version that the, after you ordering the food, they might ask you whether you require invoice. You If you require invoice, you need to key in everything information to them, then in order for them to uh, submit the, to get the invoice rated and send back to you. 
So that is the method uh, using the mobile app and the QR system. All right. So previously I say all the businesses, and if you're doing business in Malaysia, you need to issue invoice. So who are the person exempted from issue invoice? The thing they are not required to issue invoice to the to anybody. So here is the list. A to K, basically we talk about the government, uh, local authority. So remember, when you spend, you pay some expenses to the government, government will not give you an invoice. You still can kick uh, invoice and the risk that you get from the local authority. You still can claim for tax deduction. Example, land assessment or parking that you pay to DBKL or MBSJ. Those, you still can keep it as a uh, document to claim for tax deduction because that type, uh, that uh, authority, they, they does not require to issue invoice to you. Okay. And the last one, including the individual who does not own the business. Example, if let's say you are individual, you do not do business, you do not have a company. So when you sell, when to sell your car, when you sell your property, when you have a, you have an extra income receipt, actually you're not required to issue invoice. Like if let's say you have rental receipt, you're also not required to issue invoice to the person because you are not doing your business. Okay, understand? So 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 that is the person you you does not require to issue invoice. So why is the Transition does not require invoice to have a sub to support as a transition, like income as a expenses. Uh, first employment income, employment income referring to your staff salary. You paying salary to your staff director. When the staff or director receive the salary from the company, they are not required to issue invoice to you, because they are individual. And you're not required to have an e invoice to have a supporting to say that you have this kind of expenses. All right. So, so this uh whatever you pay to them, it consider expenses. So and and that no e invoice to be support. And other will be like pension, alimony. So single tier dividend also not required invoice. Jakarta scholarship, all those is not required for e invoice. All right. Unless uh later on, update update. So maybe uh. We need to see whether got any update or not. Currently, all this one not require invoice. 